Hello there, so we've gone for a bit of a dodgy camera angle this time. Done a bit of a Jay Silver Heels in terms of quality, but nevertheless. There seems to still be an obsession with flat tops. Robin's flat top. You might not know which one we're talking about, but if you're a little confused, just click the link above because I did a video on it. Just like a, either, either it was a preview or it was post uh, post discussion of Jeff Clark's hike when he went out there and went up the canyon to try and locate the flat top, which was seen in Robin's hike video in the background. If you don't know why, it was because of that like um, rock with the weird M symbol carved within it. You know, some people say it's natural, other people say it's something more mysterious, and then some people are in between and just want to investigate it just to have a look up close and confirm it themselves, like Jeff Clark. Problem was, didn't find it, like, the actual one. Um, what was the words Jeff Clark came out with? So, what Jeff said was, the area wasn't where Robin was. Different area. It didn't match up, even the flat top itself. But, it's the only flat top going in that area, which looks the most similar to Robin's. Because, out of most of that area... There isn't any like canyons or, you know, rock shapes that are similar to where Robin was at the time. So really the one Jeff Clark was in was really the only one available. So the obsession is because it's back then, you know, it's a while ago and you've got, you know, Jay, I think it's mainly Jay Silverheels. Well, obviously it's Jay Silverheels. He's the only one around who keeps referring back to it. And I don't, I don't know why, to be honest. Do you know what? When I stand up, do you know when you see that? Um, it looks like, no, 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 it's not, but it reminds me of um, kind of like that cave symbol which was on uh, Sean's top, Do you know, part of it where it's dark. Obviously it's not because this is a skull one. Ooh, a skull. Why do skulls keep appearing everywhere? You know, skulls in some of my pictures, an actual skull ornament, a skull top. That's That says dark, obviously. So, uh, yeah, but... Anyway, this isn't some kind of YouTube fashion blog channel. Not yet. Oh, no. So, um, yeah, with Silverheels constantly going back and forth, his argument varies. You know, one minute it's this, next minute it's that. Silverheels, in the past, I can't remember in what order, okay? I might be in the wrong order, but one minute he's saying, no, no, that's not Robin's flat top. That's nothing like it. You, you're completely delusional. Jeff Clark, you should be locked up. This is all wrong information. That's not the flat top. And the next thing you know, he's getting out saying, oh, that, that, no, that, that is the flat top. You know, you can't deny it. It looks exactly the same. Why is Jeff Clark lying? You know, Jeff Clark's delusional. This is the location. And then next thing, he combines both together. Oh my God, Jeff Clark has never been there. He's never hiked out. You gotta swear on the Bible, man. You gotta swear on that because if you're lying, you're gonna go to hell. Don't worry, we've got some audio extracts from that which I will feature in um, a later video. Oh shit, the amount of stuff to cover. Almost could be like a film. So uh, yeah, calling Jeff Clark a liar for not going out there, for faking it for some reason, but still claiming it is the flat top. And really, the overall tone is, does it really matter? At the end of the day, I mean, in fairness to one of their mindsets, you know, it is, if there's not really much else to investigate at the moment in time or things have kind of come to a halt, it makes sense to just look at what is available or what is still under investigation because it is still a mystery. The canyon itself, Robin's Rock, the whole lot. So I can understand that, but let's keep going back, back and forth, back and forth when... Either, you know, to an extent, things have been proven. People have been there. Footage has been recorded. And the conclusion was, this is not the same location. Unless there's another canyon nearby from a different angle you can go up. I know Jeff Clark said he didn't get time to look everywhere. Um, but, you know, it's like going back in circle and it's like, what good does it do? I mean, um, in similarity, in a sense, the mineshaft... Constantly going back to that. Even the CCTV footage, constantly going back to that. Yeah, 
That's what I did. But it was because it was adding new information on. You know, first, show CCTV footage. Next, reinforce it with a few extra developments, bits of evidence. Then the witness reports or the statements from people. And then an analysis on the physical aspect of the individual. It was building it up over time. Same with the mine shaft, covering the damage over time, comparing it, adding more to it, and then eventually coming to a head, concluding an actual shown evidence, explanation, footage of who was responsible. That made sense going back and forth. It wasn't exactly going in a circle, but it is with the flat top because because <laughs> it's just like back and forth. No, it's you. No, it's you. No, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Like, what's the what's the point? Um, I'm sure Silver Hills won't enjoy this, or you'll probably think of something to say. Say, oh my god, this is this is a disaster. This is this is bad, man. I, I need to go. Um, so uh, yeah, just a random video. I don't even know how you. Um, I think titling this video, well, title it. This is a waste of time. <laughs> No, not quite. I'll just title it Flat Top Obsession. I think that's what I'll call it because it is a bit of an obsession at the moment, to be honest. Oh, and then, you you know, you'll get the you'll people come walking in. Oh, God, is this some kind of hand ASMR thing? There's a lot going on within, you know, short space of time. First, talk about fashion. Next thing, talking about bloody mystery. And now we've got ASMR. Does it pick up the noise when you do that? Maybe. You might be thinking... What the fuck are you doing? Well, it's a fair point. What I was going to say was, demonstrating it with um, body language, I guess, was I can imagine some people walk on in like that and then saying, oh, why are you doing this video? Oh, you calling this an obsession? What about you covering the mystery then, Andrew? That's an obsession. No. The difference is, if there's stuff to cover, there's stuff to cover. If the mystery keeps on giving, it keeps on giving. So... Obviously, there's things to cover then. Basically, you cover them. End of. Um, sure, in most mysteries, it reaches ahead or it comes to a dead end. Yeah, natural. In this case, it's not quite normal, is it? Plus, as well, you've got to accept that if there's external people that come and go and drip feed information, it's going to be dragged out. Inevitable. If it's, if it's drip fed, it will take time. If it was all released all in one go, then obviously it wouldn't last as long. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Is there any other individuals? Uh, yeah, there's um, degenerates here and there. Whinge and wine, come and go. But then again, when is it not? Well, more now than usual, but that's fine. So, uh, yeah. Just wanted to talk about the flat top obsession. Don't think it's really necessary unless there is more you know, additions and additional footage or someone was going to go back out there or there was a new finding. But constantly going back and forth, it's a bit of a waste of time, to be honest, in that regards. I think Jay Silver was talking about Jay Chuck going there. If Jay Chuck went there, maybe, but problem is with Jay Chuck, like I said before, he says he's, he says he's going to go, and at times, yeah, he does. But he says, oh, he'll do that, and then he ends up doing something else. Or you think he's going to do something, and then he does something else within the area. And then it gets a bit confusing. So even if he did go to that flat top, that canyon, I don't think it would, um, in terms of visually watching it, I don't think it would go down well. Just my opinion. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm sure someone will comment on this dodgy camera angle, but that's fine because um, the video itself is dodgy. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'll probably upload another video after this as well because it's another short one. Okay. Do back-to-back -back for once, a little special. See ya. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.